Hey guys, this is Brian with Thunder Laser USA. I uh, wanted to go over a few things about saving some of the settings uh, in your machine and, and in Lightburn. Um, let's say, for instance, you needed to make some uh, settings changes to the machine settings. Uh, for instance, uh, the idle speed you know, can control the U-axis um, or speed you know, when it's framing uh, and that kind of thing. So there's a lot of settings in here. Uh, but before you go in and do any settings changes, um, it's a really good idea to save this configuration and you can call it you know Lightburn backup config or whatever you want to do and uh, be sure and save that configuration then you can go in and make any changes you need to uh, and then if something isn't quite right then you can just load that saved config back into the machine and uh, so that'll take care of that also if you use the camera uh, you can back up your uh, alignment settings um, you can export your camera settings like this and this is good if you want to move it to another machine if you're running two versions of Lightburn on two different machines um, you can call this the Lightburn cam export for instance for that machine and you can also do the same thing for devices you can choose your device and you can export it as a device which would be a Nova 35 and then in your new instance of Lightburn or your instance in your other computer, you can load your camera calibration as well as your device uh, and your libraries uh, and everything else. The machine settings thing won't be a, a factor if you're just adding uh, your device and your camera to a different instance of Lightburn or a different uh, computer. So those are just a few things I wanted to show you um, about that. Uh, it's good to back up things like that uh, periodically. Anyway, hope that helps. Thanks. See you later.